Hello, everybody. My name is Al DePaulo. I'm the Partner Products Manager over here at Bobcat. And today I want to uh, work on a, a simple two-axis part. Uh, this was uh, designed from one of our clients. Uh, they're big in the RC hobby. And uh, he designed this component in SolidWorks, and he wants to cut this on a, a small, small router. Um, you know, home router, you know, you figure it doesn't have a tool changer and, uh, you know, we just need to do some cutouts, uh, inside cuts and then outside cuts. So, you know, we just open up the file. That's the first thing we would do. Uh, the next thing we want to do is set up our job. So we're going to use our three axis machine and run our stock wizard using uh, the rectangular bounding box. Uh, and we'll just put a, a box around the part. So what we're going to do is we're just going to add... Um, you know, let's say an inch on each side here. Okay, so we have an inch on each side here, and then, um, you know, from there, we're gonna just, uh, I'm not gonna change anything in Z, I'm just gonna leave that where it is. We're gonna go ahead and advance to next, and now we wanna pick our origin. So, in this case, this is where our zero is gonna be, we're figuring we're just, um, you know, strapping down uh, some carbon fiber to the table and we'll just indicate off the corner here. So we're going to grab origin. Now you can either indicate on the top of the part or the bottom of the part. In this case, I'm going to pick the top corner here and then I'll choose OK. So at this stage, what we've done is we've set up our stock and more importantly, we set up where our zero is. So our zero is this corner and we're going to cut this material out. OK. Now, from here, what I'm going to do, uh, again, you can you can use surface edges, but uh, sometimes it's easier just to use wireframe. And in this example, that's exactly what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some wireframe. So I'm going to create a new layer and make it active. And then I'll go to Utilities, Extract Edges, Single. And I'm going to pick on the top face of this part. And that will give me all the wireframe. Okay. Now, you know, the, these are all going to just be 2D profile cutouts. We'll do all the inside shapes first, and then we'll do the outside shape. Um, I just want to measure some of this geometry here so I can get an idea of the size uh, cutter that I'd be able to use. And it looks like, um, you know, a, uh, an eighth inch uh, end mill will work just fine. Okay, so now I'm going to create a new layer, and this is uh, in, uh, we'll say, outside cut. I'll go to a selection, shift left click to grab the outside shape, right click, modify attributes layer, we'll put it on the outside cut, we'll turn that one off. This one will add a new layer. Uh, actually, I can just rename this layer here. Call this uh, in uh, inside cut. Okay. All right, so now um, we have our two different uh, layers that have our uh, different geometry sets. So what I'm going to do is turn off the uh, outside layer and we're just working with our inside layer here. I'm going to load up uh, two axis. I'm going to select all of my geometry here with the window space, space bar. From here, this is where I'm setting how deep the cut is. So I'm just going to say a quarter inch cut. My strategy, I'm just going to do a, a profile uh, finish. I'm just going to do one pass or an increment down. So we'll do a profile finish. Uh, we're going to tell it the cutter size we're going to work with. Um, we're going to let Bobcat offset for the cutter. The depth is already established. If we want to take more than one pass, we can set multiple depths here. Um, leans for this example, I'm just going to stick with vertical. And then I'll uh, compute my tool path. Now, one of the things that you'll uh, you'll notice here is that uh, there's toolpath being generated. It, it, you know, if you see, like in this case here, you, we're not seeing the toolpath uh, on the part. So that what that's saying is that um, you know the the part is. Uh, uh, too big for the cutter. The cutter doesn't fit in that area. And we'll, what we'll probably end up doing is just a slot uh, where we can ramp back and forth in there um, for the center line. So uh, with that said, I'm just going to remove, reselect, and I'm going to grab uh, all the circles and we'll set them up as one routine first. Okay. and then we'll compute. All right, so now 
we're gonna copy this and then we're gonna paste this and then we'll reselect all these other slots you know e either that or we could uh, um, yeah I guess let me back up again thinking that we're with a router we're probably gonna wanna just step down tool size so let's uh, select everything again and then I'll just edit the tool size alright so now you can see there's a uh, tool path all the way around the part that's all the inside stuff we'll have it do that first uh, then we're gonna go to the uh, outside cut so we're gonna copy this feature and then paste the feature and then we'll uh, reselect our geometry here and then we're gonna compute now at first you're gonna see that it's cutting on the wrong side so what we'll do is change our start point and we'll say you know maybe over here and change it to go in that direction and then compute and now you can see it's on the outside now you may um, you know what this would end up doing is just dropping the part free what I want to do is create um, some tabs so that the part doesn't move while it's being cut out and later we can uh, manually cut them off and then uh, sand them down as necessary so what I'm gonna do is just uh, snap a circle you know uh, that's a little too big uh, all right so we'll say one there you know, one here and one here. So the reason why I'm snapping that circle is I want to uh, trim that little section that's inside of it. This is what I'm going to use uh, as my uh, tabs or bridges, they're called sometimes. I'm just uh, breaking uh, those areas of the part. I'm going to go ahead and reselect my geometry. You can see it's kind of broken up, so I'll remove, reselect here, here and here and then uh, let me compute it and you can see in some areas it's on the correct side and others it's not so I'm gonna change my start point and if you uh, you can just click on the arrows and that way they, they're all facing the same direction and then compute and then now we have our tabs and that's uh, that's going to do uh, the inside shape first and then it's going to do the outside shape. Of course you can adjust your step down and everything else. I'll run this through uh, simulation real quick and uh, what this will do is uh, show us what the tool and the cutting is going to look like. Alright and once it's done it should go and do the outside and again you can see there's these little tabs here that we can uh, cut off later ourselves so now that we're happy with the simulation the last thing we'd want to do is to post up our code so we'll come over here and we'll go to post and then this will post our G code you can take that G code right click save as save it to a a file and then uh, load that file on your control. So a uh, quick example, walking through programming this part. If there's any questions, reply back in the thread, the YouTube page, or on the Facebook page. Thank you so much, guys.